Seek Star Wolverine has entered into the game, so hello everybody. Uh, whether or not there's uh, pre-release bundles or bundles for this particular champion, do bear in mind, you don't need to spend them. You could save your money and wait until the Six Star feature comes out and, you know, use some Six Star Shards to try and potentially get this champion, if indeed you want to go for him. So next next feature is probably going to be there, and at some point it'll enter into basics, so maybe save your money. Your choice at the end of the day. But I really wanted to go over Wolverine, especially because, you know, it's one of my favourite characters. Um, I have like an extensive comic book collection of I think with volume well I've got the first kind of limited series which is I think referred to as volume one and I'm currently saving through my volume two. funny enough in there there is a ton of and that's that there is my list of comic book collection uh, that I've ticked off so um, I, I've kind of like got all that set kind of there I will get that and showcase i've also got a comic book um a graphic novel right there about his antics during civil war so there's a lot of stuff that i need to uh to kind of like do with that one but um that's another story for another day in any case let's get into this champion really interesting as well to note where the five star is to where the six star is just if you're interested Ant may is a great resource for these particular things go and check it out in the link in the description but yeah 200 signature with rank five 200 signature uh we'll get a potential it says here, restoring of 8,474.31 health based on current power levels over 5 seconds. And in this video, it's going to be broken down into several sections. Obviously, critical heat, hit, heat, critical hits mean bleed. And that's going to be important for the rotation we're going to talk about in a minute. We'll have him with a horseman synergy. We've got him without a horseman synergy. We've got him against Labyrinth. Uh, Red Hulk. We've got him against normal Act 7 content with his bleed vulnerability. And... Uh, we've also got his regeneration potential if he is just, you know, hit into oblivion, really sustain and have survivability and talk about damage and so many different things. There's different tabs in the video and time codes to go and uh, check those particular things out. So let's get into it. Just quickly, though, on the uh, topic of the six star version, where 8,474 was the regeneration he's taking back uh, with a six star version at 200 signature, it's 12,000. 495 that is quite a massive jump from the five star version which is on screen and also the six star version at 200 signature so it was interesting to kind of note that and also critical hits with the laceration 2939 versus the five star version which is if i can find it it's what is it on it's on critical hits there uh, it is 1,993, so that's uh, it's pretty it's pretty good. It's an extra uh, an extra K. But in any case, let's all talking aside. Let's see some visuals. Let's roll some footage and take it from there. So here we go with the footage. First of all, nice little level up on Wolverine. Why not? Just getting that right up to the top level. Apocalypse is there first of all to try and get myself the horseman's horseman, horseman uh, cross fight, and that's. Well, sad is it sadly? I don't know is the way to go with it in order to maximize damage potential and sadly with the creation of team It had to be cable on this in order to create the horseman synergy at a very early stage Get that W get the four genetic code I need start to create a horseman around Wolverine Tried to do some synergies elsewhere without the kind of horseman synergy And it just felt like it was going a bit flat when it came came to damage and the critical bleeds those critical bleeds are quintessential 2490 I think I saw just there with the critical bleed I saw some footage on Twitter of somebody using a Horseman synergy with the champions of five star and I think it was only getting about 1400 so these particular critical bleeds do feel a little bit more meatier uh, than um, You know you'd expect but I would say like uh, I might be a bit wrong on the extent of time of the rotate i thought that it might be more when it comes to the critical bleeds of the base level of the base abilities of the champion but it looks like that's not the case and i was kind of like thinking to myself well i should be seeing a lot more damage but um no it's just a case of like critical bleeds i think this is where the omega red synergy comes in place the one that extends the extended potency of bleed damage which i think is just the way to go with it but the damage ramp up of the champion is really nice we're going to see some regeneration like tests in a minute but uh yeah you can see against the wolverine here like the four star one which we know in realm of legends is very potent on its regen which takes a huge amount of damage a huge amount of like back like 12k i think we just saw just there like if you are aggressive enough you will be able to stack a good amount there's a nice as well crit when it comes to the sp2s which can do a more meteor damage i think i've seen like about 
20 to 30k at most when throwing off an SP2, which is nice. Got a little clip there. Not as in I got clipped by a Wolverine coming towards me. Uh, but yeah, I love the ramp up. This Horseman synergy is really nice. I need to say like 19k, 19k, and then got a, a basic white piece of uh, damage there. This is the most fun one, and that is going up against Black Panther. Class advantage, of course. And you can see the critical bleeds are ticking off. 10 hits already down to 70k. We're ramping up as well. We've got 8 nine critical bleeds or bleeds or critical standard or, or kind of critical bleeds right there and it's getting four nearly five thousand k crits i think i saw like a plus 5k crit there 28 hits and i'm just waiting for the tick off and of course kabam give me a one percent um so one more hit to 29 29 hits and done love it let's go on to some regeneration uh, testing so one thing i wanted to do with this particular fight is test out the extent of regeneration as a lot of us know, when you get the champion up to three uh, bars of power, uh, and we're going to see here, like I'm just speeding this up just for time. I'm going to—I basically took my hands off of the uh, of the device and allowed for the champion just to kind of look. What's his regen like? And the regen takes a good amount. Like you can see on screen, I'm just like I'm just leaving it, and it's just like I'm still alive. You can see the health is just coming back. And I just think I'm not doing anything. That four, two, five a time tick. Doubling up now to 1,400 per tick is really nice and the survivability is there. But you need three bars of special. That's that's obviously it, the more power levels. And obviously I'm not going to like spend the entirety of the fight just getting hit. But it was interesting to note when I was getting hit, what the um, uh, eventuality of it. Like, you know, was I able to stay alive. This is a bit of a long and boring fight. So this is uh, against uh, Red Hulk and this is without a... Without a horseman synergy, and this is the prop. By the way, I am using suicide masteries. I should should make that clear. I might re-edit this video to kind of put something at the start to say this is run with suicide masteries. I mean, you can tell top left hand corner. There's liquid courage. Um, do I think that's kind of like the B, the the, the go to kind of option for this? Well, it's sustainable because you're able to regen back on the damage you'd be taking from the mastery itself, and the potency is there. Do I think it's a necessity for this? maybe maybe not um a, a lot of the time when it comes to my uh, ccp beta server i run it with suicide masteries and with the other one uh, the the normal i try and do um like a basic mastery just to get like a feel of uh, well I try and get a feel of both things but i don't get to play the champion on my main uh, main account but yeah uh, i found it kind of boring and well, not really there when it comes to like without the synergy, it really needed the synergy, um, or really need the, the horseman synergy to kind of get that potency. But in any case, I tested the champion out on some just generic content and quests where it has bleed vulnerability. Oh, look at the damage like it just melts, like it melts enemies. Like you see, like class disadvantage, we had the human, uh, not human torch, uh, Miss Inv Invisible Woman. Uh, so, and then I said, like, Miss Mrs. Fantastic. Um, but yeah, like the, the main thing is the bleed vulnerability is potent enough that if you're looking for an option just to help out take through things this is a horseman of course that uh, yeah it's just good obviously cable is kind of allowing me quick access to that horseman synergy rather than the normal build up but look at that that is just stonking bleed damage it's beautiful as well um, i hope you're enjoying this site as i am and yeah i did really enjoy playing um the champion and uh yeah, even though some of the routes are pretty bad, like you can see there, I should have stayed to an SP3 to get my power back, and then power means regen. Um, it's still kind of a pretty... Uh, these are bleed vulnerability fights are, are very doable, even though I was getting incinerated, and maybe in some cases being poisoned. I was able to, able to uh, sustain, I was able to regen uh, if I wanted to, so... Um, yeah, a fun champion. I mean, look, the final thoughts on this particular champion, it's going to be up to you whether or not you kind of, like, look to rotate it within, I don't know, your, your playing, uh, your need, wants, and desires, your specific encounters. There's so many different variables always happen with any kind of, like, fight in Marvel Contest of Champions. For me, I'm not going to go out to get it, and if I get it from a six-star feature, then I've got it. Is it a bit of a beast with the, the synergy, not synergy, with the crossfight with Horseman? Of course it is. And it's a lot of fun. But, um, yeah, it's just finding a specific time you can use it. Because, like, it's not going to be like, oh, it's exactly like Hercules. It's not. It's far from it. So, uh, so yeah, interesting to see the numbers. And I think that's the thing. The main thing for me is seeing those critical bleed numbers were, was just is really cool to see. 
and being able to kind of take on um you know content and you know figure out options synergies and stuff so yeah uh, it's it's cool but i'm not gonna bust the gut to go and get it uh, and especially if i get it then i'll i'll, I'll, I'll probably wait i know it's in an, an arena uh this week but um yeah, I probably will wait until it just goes into a six-star featured and save my time because time is very valuable nowadays in Marvel Contest of Champions, even more so than it used to be. But yeah, thanks very much for watching. Check out some other content. What are your thoughts on this particular champion? And I'll see you all very soon. Much love and goodbye.